Hey guys, Sam here from the Ohio Fisherman. Today I'm going to show you a couple things about swim jigs that I really like, a couple trailers, and I'm going to discuss um, my favorite swim jig rod that I have. So, let's get started. Uh, there are four different styles of swim jig heads that I've seen, three main ones, and one's kind of an oddity. Uh, as you can see, I only have three of them. So I'll start with the bullet one. This is probably the most common. It's a bullet shaped head. Uh, all swim jig heads have some triangular aspect to them and most of them have this 30 degree eye tie and most of the eyes stick out from the head of the jig. Uh, with the bullet, the bullet jigs, hooks tend to be a bit thicker, thick weed guards a bit th uh, heavier and these are uh, made for a little bit heavier cover. Um, if you have one like this Strike King Tour Grade swim jig, these are no called Northern Style swim jigs. Uh, as you can see, they still have this f uh, triangular shape. They're just not as bullet shaped, and they have light wire, lighter wire hooks and uh, lighter weed guards. And basically, whichever one's better is up to whatever condition you're, you're fishing. Um, I fish both of these, and they both work well. It just depends on the situation. And uh, for me, oftentimes, the uh, northern style swim jig is best. But there are situations where I like the bullet head instead. And those are just when the, you know, it's, there's a bit heavier cover that I have to deal with. The third major swim jig head style is called a uh, poison tail jig. Well, at least the molds for them are called poison tail jigs, molds. Uh, an example would be the Dirty Jigs California Swim Jig. They're a lot like the bullet head. They're just um, not as elongated, so they're rounder down here. And um, from what I read on forms, they stand up on the bottom better, and you can also use them for flipping. But uh, I've, I had a, a California swim jig from Dirty Jigs. I liked it, but unfortunately, uh, bad knot, I lost it. So Now here's the fourth style of head. This is an all-terrain tackle swim jig. Uh, it's kind of an oddity. Uh, it's flat horizontally instead of vertically like the Strike King and it has a recessed eye that is not vertical it does also has a vertical I mean a horizontal eye uh, this, but the this general this jig uh, has a lighter weed guard and a kind of a medium thickness hook so it'll be interesting to see uh, how well this swim jig performs. I have not used these yet, I just got these today actually. But uh, I can say I'm not too impressed with them because one came with a weed guard that was bent out like that from the side of the hook and I, I have to say I was not impressed. I was able to bend it back but uh, there was some flaring to the weed guard as a result so uh, I don't know. Uh, hopefully it all works out well. As far as trailers go, my favorite is the net bait package chunk simply because uh, they work well at any retrieve speed that you use. Um, second place would be net bait baby mad packa, a lot like the package chunk except uh, they kind of have a double uh, twin tail grub uh, off the back of it, and they're a little bit longer, so you might want to trim them up d depending on uh, the profile you want for your bait. I generally leave them at full length though. And another trailer I like to use is this uh, Twin Tail Grub. Uh, I would only use Twin Tails when I couldn't get these, so I don't use them very often, but uh, they do work in place of these. So uh, I know a lot of people like to use swim baits, like this Berkeley Havoc Grass Pig. Um, for whatever reason, I cannot seem to catch bass with a swim bait trailer on a swim jig so if you're having trouble and you're using these as a trailer for your swim jig uh, try a craw trailer and then see see how that works for you because for whatever reason 
I've tried, and I can't catch one with a swim bait. But, um, I guess I'll have to continue trying, because you can't always stick with what what's worked for you in the past, because that you'll limit yourself to only those techniques. So, as far as the rod goes, you know, if you're fishing bait casters, and you really should be for swim jigs, um, my favorite rod is this uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass swim jig, no, not swim jig, swim spinner bait rod. This is a seven foot medium heavy. Uh, as far as medium heavy rod goes, I'd say it's a, it's a pretty overrated. And by that I mean it's more powerful than, I feel it's more powerful than a medium heavy. But, um, it's just, it feels good for swim, for, uh, for swim jigs. I really like it better than, say, than that rod I have there. I know I have a swim jig tied on, but, um, that rod's also a seven foot medium heavy, but, uh, it's not made for spinner baits, and, uh, it, I don't like the feel of it as well. So, if you're looking for a uh, rod to use for swim jigs, look at, look at a spinnerbait rod, not, yeah, spinnerbait rods, because they are pretty similar. And a lot of people will actually say that uh, you shouldn't fish swim jigs because they're basically just spinner baits without the blades. And I, I can tell you from experience that that's just wrong, playing wrong, because swim jigs are much more versatile. Uh, you can use swim jigs at much slower speeds than you could a spinner bait, and you can work them on heavier cover. And I. I generally use spinner baits in the spring, uh, early to late spring, and then swim jigs I can use all year. So that just tells you, uh, at least from my point of view, that swim jigs are much more effective, and I catch more fish on swim jigs than uh, per year than I do on spinner baits. So that's uh, it. If you're, I'm going to go off on a different topic now, um, if you're looking for good custom jigs, just in general, I found this place and I really want to talk about it because, um, one, I like fishing custom jigs. This is a custom jig. This is an LP custom swim jig. Uh, custom jigs in general, they just are made better. They don't fall apart. Uh, they're wired, wired tied skirts for the most part. This is a wire tied skirt underneath. This is a rattle collar. I don't have any rattles on it because, um, you know, a swim jig wouldn't benefit from rattles as much as you, as a normal jig would. But uh, I like the wire tied skirt collar because with the other collars, the, the skirt just slips around and it's not as secure. But the company that I'm talking about for custom jigs is called uh, Elkin Lures. And um, they basically make custom jigs, and uh, you can customize the jig down to what weight you want, uh, with what hook you want, you know, with what ought you can. Uh, they have several options for hooks, as well as if you want a wide bend or wide gap or round bend hook. So you can choose between a wide gap and a round bend hook, and what ought you want it. So you can get a four ought, five ought, six ought. 2 aught, 3 aught, you know. So I made a list, and the guy also has like 360 different colors to choose from. You can also get custom colors made up, you just have to describe it to him. So um, I plan on getting a lot of jigs from there, and I'll review those when I get them. So I, I actually made a list of all the different jigs that I want to get from this place. I think the total comes out to over 30 jigs. Uh, not all swim jigs. I got some football heads and flipping jigs and a slip jigs and you know uh, finesse jigs and stuff like that. So the guy has. Uh, you can also select what thickness of weed guard and what color weed guard you want and what color you want the jig head. And they're all really good prices too. I mean, in in a lot of cases, they you can get this custom jig cheaper for what you can get in the store. So um, again, that's Elkin Lures. That's like elk, like the animal, and then just en. So uh, you should look them up, and uh, I'll do a review on them 
when I order them, but uh, I really think that uh, those will be a, a good jig company, a real high level of customizability. So I just wanted to put that name out there, uh, and that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.